What's up, Goaded Ones? This is Goaded VC here with another teardown, tearing you down to build you up. And today, I'm going to do a couple different ones. Decided to start using Product Hunt again. It's been a minute, but we are on day 14. I'm actually going to do three today. So this is the first one, Fair Cado. Can you see this? Is this not in the frame properly? Hold on. There we go. All right, fair cotto. We search, first of all, the hero is on the right side, which is different. Um, not saying that's good or bad, it's just different. We search for the internet's best pre-owned deals. Deals for what? What kind of deals? Stop wasting time and money. Okay, noted. Fair cotto helps you find the best pre-owned deals for your wallet and the planet. Deals. Deals. Um, I guess from the image, I'm guessing clothing and products. I guess I wouldn't use deals. Deals, I don't know. It doesn't, doesn't communicate it as well as products. I mean, pre, best pre-owned, like a deal is pre-owned. The item is pre-owned and the deal is on the item, but pre-owned deal doesn't actually makes sense from a copywriting perspective. Um, cool. Um, I think I get it from this. I like these kind of like go through the whole process videos showing how it works. Um, so in terms of a hero, you also see that it's been featured in a bunch of places. I uh, tend to like that. So in terms of this hero, I would give this a, you know, a solid 8.5. You know, it gets the job done. It tells you how many products there are, how many partners, some of the categories. It gives you most of what you need. So, pretty good. Uh, let's do the pre sign up onboarding, how it works. Add in seconds. Add to your computer. Is it an extension or something? It looks like it's an extension. So, why not say it's a Chrome extension or whatever extension? Um, shop like normal, automatically look, okay, save time on the O2, nice. So the partners, now when you say partners, does eBay know that you exist? Are they a real partner or you're just integrating with them or using their API? It's a little, it's a little tricky. Best pre on offers. See, what I would do on this homepage, I would show a couple offers. Show a couple things to show like, wow, like right now you could click on this item and see it at a huge discount. Like find, I mean, you guys are scraping these deals anyway. Find the best 10 deals of the day and surface them on the homepage. Why not? Okay, get started. No one wants me to sign up. So I would sign up just because um, it seems interesting. But for the purposes of these reviews, I'm not signing up for anything. I want to see if I get most of the value. And in this case, um, I didn't really get to see any particular deal. I know you don't, people are scared of sending people off the website. But if you show me a great deal and I can buy it right now and I can double check that you're not just serving up old data, that you actually have good information, I would probably try it out. Um, so is there anything else I can see? No, let's just download the extension. About value efficiency and time, money, and resources. I'm created for Ricardo to enable just that. A solution that increases the circularity of produced goods while making sure you can save time, money, CO2. Ali Evolena. Okay, cool. A nice team. Seem like some cool people. Engagement, transparency, change. I think these pages are very important. I think a lot of startups don't really have a purpose. They don't have any, how do I say it? They don't have anything driving them 
to do these things. And even though sometimes people post generic things here, if it's clear through the mission and how they represent themselves that they actually do care, that does make a big difference. So this is interesting. We hijacked an advertising space in Berlin, a pretty big one. Okay. They got gangster. Okay. Shot up in my in my eyes. Oh, sorry. Need to go back to the English version. Nah, that was cool. That is cool. FAQs. You know I hate a FAQ. How do you make money? Uh, affiliates. I I don't think affiliates are a great business model. Um, actually, fun fact. Everlane initially was a affiliate business where people a couple you know maybe 10 curated partners would pick items and you would buy some of these other items uh, this was uh, started by two folks i know from carnegie mellon and that was their business model when i first met them and then ended up sending my friend over to them and she pivoted the business and now they create products and I got lots of equity <laughs> just kidding it's all good um, hmm yeah I don't think affiliates are a long-term sustainable business model especially I believe Amazon is cutting their commissions now so Yeah, okay. Red blog. Yeah, I mean, this is a good time. You know, Black Friday. People just buying things. Um, so pre-sign-up pre onboarding, um, <clears throat> I give it an 8.1. I was expecting a little bit more in terms of, like, understanding and experiencing what the different categories are. I think they should probably go into that a little bit more on this page. Some examples would help. Uh, some customer experiences um, of using Fercado would, would help as well. And then also the merchant view as well to say, hey, we are Patagonia and we love that Fercado exists because we want people to, we don't always want people to buy new stuff. Like we actually do care about having a great secondhand alternative it would be nice if a brand said that i don't think any most brands are not going to say that because they just want your money over and over but it would be really nice if i saw a brand say hey we don't we don't want you to continually buy stuff like we don't need you to always buy <laughs> new stuff all the time like we are okay with that um maybe Fercado could be you know the tool that helps some of those brands um so in terms of those two ratings, I think it's what, 8.3, 8.1, pretty solid product. If you're looking for deals on things like this, uh, give these folks a try. As always, brush your teeth, walk in the Ghana, then bow out. <laughs>